right, what's up? Welcome to another video. This one is, as you saw by the intro, a little bit different because we're no longer just in After Effects and we're using a whole new tool that I've been kind of tinkering with and just playing around with. We are going to be exploring together Unreal Engine. Now, uh, I don't know if you've heard about it online, maybe you have and that's why you've clicked on this video, but Unreal Engine is starting to become a very powerful tool not just for what it is intended for, for game development, but also for filmmaking. And that is especially interesting because it's not just another filmmaking tool, it's, it's a filmmaking tool that is giving access to a lot of indie filmmakers, to a lot of no budget filmmakers to tell really big stories. So the potential here is huge. And I think that being early in on this and, uh, and explore this together is gonna have a lot of benefits in the long run. So I just wanted to reshare some of the things that I'm learning little by little in Unreal, some of the things that I've, uh, I've done to create the sequence that you saw in the beginning. And of course, big disclaimer here, I'm not a professional, I'm not a, an Unreal Engine guru by any means. There's a lot of great content online already that can get you through all the steps one of the main ones that I would recommend here at the top is Unreal Sensei, uh, and it was also a huge help in me learning a lot of the things that I'm about to show you. But I just wanna show you from a filmmaker's perspective, some of the things that made sense to me in Unreal Engine based on that. So I'm gonna break that down in this video. So we'll see how it goes, let's jump in. Okay, so I have Unreal Engine open here, and uh, it's not gonna be a tutorial, I just kinda wanna give you an overview of the sequence that you saw. Uh, one thing that you can tell right away is that there's a lot of stuff happening on screen and it's all happening in real time. Uh, both when it comes to the amount of geometry, literally all these buildings, all the debris on the ground that you can barely see right now because of the light, but also all the volumetric light shafts, all these god rays, everything is in real time. And if I play through my animation, you can see that even the elements that are animated, they're interacting with everything in real time. So that's the beauty of Unreal Engine. And of course, the main benefit is that unlike a map painting where you know things are 2D and flat and you can't really move around that much, here we can cruise around different alleys, we can look at different parts of the scene, get an idea of different camera angles, uh, go inside buildings and set up a few frames that way. So it's just, it's super inspirational to do that, not just with placing your geometry, obviously, if you're looking at something flat, you're very limited where you can place things and how creative you can be with that. But uh, not only that, when it comes to floating around and moving around in 3D space, it's actually super inspiring for camera angles too because I can really figure out certain key moments. Like when this thing is flying around, I can pause it in that moment in the animation and kind of you know, float around until I find a good spot to really catch this moment. Maybe I could like kind of follow it down like this and animate my camera to do a camera move like that. So I can really play around just as if I was in a game um, and, and just in this set and really get a good sense of camera angles and where to place things according to those camera angles. And that's kind of the biggest uh, other tip that I'm gonna kind of mention here. If I click right here and I go from lit to unlit mode, it's gonna take away all of my lighting. So right now there's no light, there's no shadows, just atmospherics just geometry and you can tell that there's a lot of hidden stuff that we weren't seeing before a lot of detail these are all clumps of stuff that i added in manually placed on the ground and this can get very overwhelming not just to do but also for your computer so one thing that i really started to pay attention was uh, what is actually worth uh decorating sort of if you know that's what you could call it and what is just kind of not uh, not important detail that is going to be left in the shadow. So for example, you can see that this area, it has a little bit less detail as opposed to all of this clutter. But you can see that if I go back to lit mode, it's pitch black, it's all shadow. So what really matters is those uh, these areas over here. So if I can go here, you can see that I'm getting all this detail from the light. Whereas all these buildings, all of this stuff is, is just darkness. And also with our camera angles, it doesn't matter that much. Now this is literally a superpower when it comes to uh, adding detail to textures. So you can see here that in this sequence, we don't see a lot, as I mentioned with the light and shadow play, but these buildings really stand out. And you can see all these little dots or these icons. And these are um, sort of stickers that you can add as this uh, sticker symbol suggests, which are called in Unreal Engine decals. 
And this is just a way, if I move this, you can see what I'm talking about. It's just a way of overlaying textures such as leaks, damages, cracks, uh, really could be anything uh, over geometry. And as I shift this, you can see that it's not just affecting just this flat surface, but literally anything that is contained within these, like, these bounds or this box. So if I move it over, you can see that even these beams are affected by this texture. So as you can see here, there's a lot of these textures that were added. Just to add some extra level of detail, you can see here, these cracks, these are all decals. These leaks are all decals, and they really help break up this sort of repetitive texture that this building would otherwise have. Uh, these assets are great. They're from Kitbash 3D. I absolutely love them. But having decals really elevates these assets to a whole other level of realism. I would like to take a brief moment to thank today's sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. You know I love them. I've mentioned them many times before on this channel. They've been a long supporter, but there's a reason why I keep recommending them. They honestly have a huge library of content that you can expand your knowledge in or even just explore some new hobbies. And on top of that, it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. And hold up, hold up, because this is actually pretty crazy. Skillshare even has an extensive library of content around Unreal Engine. So even when it comes to something as specific as virtual filmmaking in Unreal Engine, or even developing your skills in terms of game design, there's a ton of stuff for you to really grasp and evolve within Unreal Engine. So. Uh, and you know, if you wanna expand beyond the ideas that we explored in this video, that's definitely a place to do that in. And if you're within the first 1000 people that use my link in the description, they get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And I really love it because it's also very, very affordable. The premium membership starts at just under $10. So, you know, very easy to get in, signed up. And with the trial that I've mentioned by using the link in the description, you can actually check it out and, you know, explore, see what's there, get familiar with it. And I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. So huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, this experiment, really. I'm probably going to be shooting some of the plates and some of the live action elements that I'm going to be incorporating in this sequence. So I'm super excited about that. I'm definitely going to be filling you in on, on those updates as they happen. But so far, I'm just, I'm just so excited about what this means and what the potential of a tool like this could have for not just my own journey as a filmmaker, but for a ton of other filmmakers that sometimes want to tell nearly impossible stories uh, with a low budget. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this episode, although it was different. And uh, with that being said, definitely check out my marketplace over at chriscoart.com slash marketplace for a bunch of tools and overlays that can improve your footage. And if you are new on this channel, definitely subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. I'm gonna be hopefully experimenting more and more and learning more and more in Unreal. But uh, mainly, if you are interested in filmmaking stuff, this is the place for you. We'd love to have you join the community. And uh, yeah, with that being said, Thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris Trini for Chris Gar, and I'll see you next time.